Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel episode 30 of Eurovision Third Time. It's gonna be about the Netherlands from 1956 to 2022. I'm not sure if they have skipped a single year, so we have a lot of songs to cover. Um, make sure that you know everything about the color coding, check the description for further information. Let's just get into this, I will start ranking after the year 2000. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Alright, this recap alone is 23 minutes long, so I hope you have time for this. Mm. Jersey. I wouldn't listen to this on purpose. I wouldn't play songs like this, but if I'm in a specific atmosphere, in a specific place, brilliant. Something like this one. It's not something I would like willingly listen, but in some kind of restaurant or gala night or something, I think it's great. The first win uh, victory for the Netherlands in 57 already. Yeah, very good. This one was just as good as previous ones, but I don't know why it didn't really succeed. And again, this one is not that serious. I have no idea what is it about, but it looks cute. Um, oh no. Definitely no now. I don't like la la la's and everything that's like that. Another easy going entry. This sounds like a cartoon music to me. And I don't mean anything negative by that, just reminds me of the music that was in the cartoons when I was a child, what's happening here? Um, this is creepy. So no. No points. It is a bit underwhelming. Ooh! This one is interesting because of what's happening in the background with the instruments. That was interesting this one as well she's a bit quiet compared to the music but as a composition it's out of the box for 1965 Mm. No, not for me. Ring diga ding. I have a feeling where this will go. Let's see if I'm right. Yes. 
Not for me, no. Okay. I'm digging the music. Mm. And now, maybe unpopular opinion, I'm not sure, but la 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 not for me. I can see why it won, but it wouldn't be my winner. Something doesn't add up here vocally. Sounds a bit off. Nah. Hmm, this is interesting. I wonder where it goes. I don't like this styling. Oh, come on. <laughs> Performance is big, no. The song is not that bad. The song is catchy. But everything, like visual aspect, no. Nope. That's an interesting hairstyle that we have here. This sounds super familiar, as if I've heard it many times before, maybe I have, I don't know, but I've never seen the performance and I didn't like the performance at all. The song is okay. Again, ding a dong, ding a ding. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Dutch winners, as you can see. Maybe the first winner was the best. I like the melody in this one, yeah, a lot, the lyrics are not really the best, but I like what it sounds like. Is this Nina Karalic of the 70s? <laughs> the merry-go-round, a bit static performance for that title. This doesn't sound bad, it's a bit repetitive and simple, but it sounds good. Amsterdam. From Colorado to Amsterdam, okay. The idea is kind of similar, isn't it? Just a bit different in style. It was all right. This is pleasant. I like that.
Not sure I can say the same for this one. Yeah, this one is all sorts of weird. <laughs> this is choreography. <laughs> no. Bernadette. Decent seventh place. Okay. Very simple. It's okay. Nothing spectacular, not very memorable. Not sure about the styling, but okay. Okay, this was very current for late 80s, I would say. All right. I miss something here. Doesn't sound complete. I like that one. This one is very good. Oh, I love this one. That might be my favorite so far. Maybe. Based on the recaps only. I like that one a lot. Oh, did we skip one year here? 90s to 92, yeah. The previous one didn't leave any impression on me, honestly. But go off, Ruth. This is good. This one is a bit... I mean, it's, it's all right, but it's not very memorable, is it? This one reminds me of another song. Oh, what's the name? Uh, I think it's Abba's song. No, it's not Abba. Oh, I, don't, oh, I can't remember, but it sounds the same. Mr. Einstein. Mm, not impressed with that one. Here is our host from Rotterdam for the first time. She appears twice, I think. Fourth place, really good. Excellent, actually. Could have been maybe stronger vocally. Mm, 
Hmm. Simple and cute. And we're starting with ranking Dutch entries from now on. Well, this one is catchy. It doesn't sound very good, does it? Yeah. It's very flat. Michelle. Simple. Elegant. Not very competitive though. But sounds really good. Yes. I like this one a lot. This was so underrated. This is our top 10. Come on. Reunion in 2004. Interesting combination. It's not really my style, but I can see why people liked it. Fail to qualify. Amazing vocal. But yeah, maybe it was a bit empty performance wise. This one is just way repetitive. Like for me, it's way too repetitive. I have that issue with songs. I like the rhythm, I like the vibe. The performance is interesting as well. But it just sounds the same all the time. And that's my issue with many songs. She's back and she did not make it. Oh, she was 21st in the semi, but that's 2007's fault. This one is more mainstream than the first one, but it was all right. So the Netherlands fell into this style and sound in the 2000s. Didn't bring them much results, much good results. But the previous song was fine. This one is way over the top in all aspects, especially visually. I don't like these suits one bit. And whatever is this lady doing on the side, she should not be doing it. You know what? I disliked this song so much that I started liking it a bit. It's just silly. But it's catchy. Ah, oh, okay. I'm no longer a hater of that song, so that's a huge improvement. Hi, Adley. Yeah, 19th in the semi, that's, is that right? That can be right. There was not so many entries. That's not right. Yeah, unfortunately didn't make it. It, it didn't really stand out. This one, hi Jonathan. You know what? This, this isn't so bad at all. I never gave it a fair chance, I think, and I feel that there is something in the song that bothers me, that's why it's so low, but it doesn't sound bad. The chorus is good. Birds. Okay, finally the Netherlands scored top 10. It was fine, but I needed more. In some aspects, it didn't fulfill my 
expectations, I would say. Brilliant in every aspect. I loved everything about this one. Very simple but super tasteful staging. Very smart camera work because it was almost one shot the whole uh, performance. Ooh, and then we're we're getting this. This was repetitive and not competitive. The costume looked sil silly in a way. I will slow down. Not my vibe, not my cup of tea. I didn't like the pause, it was forced. I don't know, it's just not for me. I think it was overrated. Lights and Shadows, beautiful message behind the song. Perfect harmonies. But again, musically it didn't really hit me. The message hit me more than the song itself. A controversial performance, there was a lot of discussion about this one. Putting all that on aside, I like his vocal, but 2014 song is way better than 2018, in my opinion. Arcade, well, it's gold, and that says everything you should know. I remember I was hyped when he won because I had an opportunity to go in 2020. I had a friend who should move to the Netherlands and I was like, oh my god, I have a place to stay. And then 2020 didn't happen, but she also didn't move, so nothing happened there. Grow... I started liking this song after some time. It really grew on me. I find it beautiful today. But it wouldn't qualify, wouldn't... I mean, yeah, it was the host. It wouldn't get out of bottom 5, just like this one. Not... didn't deserve 0 points. I love the culture, cultural aspect of it. I love the language diversity. The performance was interesting. Deserved some points, definitely. Okay. 2022. Let's talk about this one in more detail. I think this was a good example of another relatively simple ballad that made it almost in the top 10 with a minimalistic staging and there are some ballads that really you can stage like this that doesn't require no technology, just a few reflectors and that's it. She had this platform. I think that that was also a nice touch and it was very tasteful to the point uh, nothing complicated it didn't distract from her vocal and from the melody it was really really good and deserved a great place in the grand final uh, I remember she was last to be announced in semi-final one and I was surprised because I knew Albania is there and I was like there's no way Albania is not qualifying but how did the Netherlands fail to qualify with that I mean come on yeah we know what happened but I, I was I mean I would have been shocked either way whoever of the two didn't make it so I was I was stressed anyways um, in the arena I really liked the mood uh, people were singing along at least this part that I could. Um, just one more thing. Uh, in front of the arena, I have to praise Dutch media. Um, there were so many of them. I felt I was in the Netherlands, not in Italy. They were all over the place. I got interviewed three times. For, and they were first very excited about their entry. They made me sing uh the chorus in dutch of course i failed and they were super polite and friendly and yes thank you very much for that experience first it was something 
I didn't expect, but also you can see how much they care about Eurovision, probably because of the hosting and everything. Maybe that had some effect as well, but overall they were so polite and so uh, excited about uh, their entry and I'm really happy to see that and hopefully other um, media teams and other delegations will look up to the Netherlands because they really can. This is my ranking once again. You share your thoughts in the comments. I'm looking forward to your opinion about the Netherlands in Eurovision. This was all for episode 30. The next video is going to be about North Macedonia who unfortunately withdrew. Let's revisit their entries and talk about them in the next video. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't and until North Macedonia, bye.